Welcome back guys to a brand new video from Harry's Transport Diaries and today we are at Exeter St David's on the Great Western Main Line a station which is served by Great Western Railway cross country trains and also South Western Railway and today we're going to be travelling upon South Western Railway's class 158 slash 159's majority 159 units from Exeter St David's up to Axminster it is a beautiful summer's afternoon on Tuesday the 22nd of August and here is our train coming in now from Exeter New Yard. So we are getting the 1925 Southwestern Railway service to London Waterloo. So as we board our class 159 up to Axminster, there's train shorts. These are one of my friends that have come filming with him. I'll put his link in the description down below. Seating is mixed between table seats and two plus two airline configuration seating. We are sat in coach six of six. And here is the stations. We're extra central, Pinhoe, Cranbrook, Wimble, Wimple, Honiton, Axminster, Kruger, Newable Junction, Sherborne, Temple Coombe, Gillingham. Tisbury, Salisbury, Andover, Basingstoke, Woking, and also London Waterloo. Maybe Clapham Junction in there as we see a GWR Class 158 departing for Oakhampton. If you want to see a video of the GWR Class 158, leave a comment down below and I'm sure I can do it as we depart exactly on time of 1925, with our next calling point being next to Central. As we are pulling out of Exeter St David's Station, our next calling point, as I mentioned before, is Exeter Central in around two minutes time. So I'm not going to cut the recording as we make our way up the hill into Exeter Central. served by both South Western Railway and also Great Western Railway with services to Exmouth, Paynton, Barnstable, just to name a few with also South Western Railway services like this one to London Waterloo and also Exeter St David's where that service will terminate. After a two minute stop here at Exeter Central, we are finally on our way up towards Pinho, which is 
which is the next calling point. As we approach Pinho, it is the last calling point in Exeter with two lines. So we usually have to wait here to pass the service heading towards Exeter St. David's before we can join the single line up towards Honiton. see this service wasn't very busy especially in the last carriage it was only us two sat in the back carriage as we make our way towards Cranbrook I do believe this is the closest station to Exeter Airport I'm not sure if there's a direct connection to the airport from the station for anyone that's wondering As we depart Cranbrook, the next station on this service will be Wimpool, which we can see passing through here as we did call, but we we're in the last carriage and this is only for shore sets only. We make our way towards our next calling point, which is Honiton. We are about to arrive at Honiton shortly and this means this is our penultimate station before we arrive at Axminster.
for anyone that is wondering, I do highly rate these services as we make our final approach into Axminster. These Southwestern Railway Class 159s are very comfortable and the seating is lovely, very well padded compared to the GWR Class 800 alternative. Um, and they're also very affordable for anyone that's looking to spend the day in Devon and not look to park. I paid £8.80 for an adult's all-day return from Axminster to Dawlish. And it takes about 40 minutes to get from Axminster to Exeter and about 20 minutes from Exeter to Dawlish. And this allows you to get any, ta any train during the day and hop off and on as much as you like. So I would highly recommend doing it. What I would be interested to know for anyone that is still watching the video at this part, is there any routes you'd like to see me cover? Or would you like, instead of journey videos, would you like train reviews? Leave a comment down below, and I'm sure I'll get back to you as and when I can. So here we are guys, arriving into Axminster on time and I'm going to leave you with our service heading up to London Waterloo as it departs. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and please hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Every subscriber helps as we push towards a thousand subscribers, we've got quite a way to go. So I'll catch you guys in the next video, thank you for watching.